if I took a poll and I asked how many of you know Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, most of you would say, I do. And if you don't recognize it, as soon as I start to quote it, you'll say, oh, yeah, I know that verse. I just didn't know where it was. So here it goes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, I believe that this verse holds the key not only to the strength and the power of Jesus Christ, but to joy. Because the book of Philippians is all about joy and rejoicing. But if you can't understand, or I should say you can't understand, verse 13 without verses 11 and 12, you have to put this verse in its context. So let's take a look at this verse all together. Philippians chapter 4 beginning at verse 11. Paul is thanking the people. This is Paul's favorite church. He is the founder of this church and he has great joy in these people. And he's, they, he has just received a gift from them. And so he says, not that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have a little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Paul is older when he writes this passage of scripture. He's had plenty of battles throughout life. He has survived persecution, stoning, beatings, shipwreck, and many other um, not so good circumstances. But at the time of his writing, in fact, he is imprisoned and he is waiting to be put to death at any moment. He knew what it was he he knew he knew at this point what was most important in life he knew what really counts in life life had taught paul that if he if his happiness depended on his circumstances he would be joyless most of his time if you and I count on our circumstances to make us happy, you and I will be disappointed. Now, what I'm really talking about and what I really want to get to is joy, which is not the same as happiness. You know, I'm happy that I got a new car, at least until payment number 48, and not so much. But joy, joy stays with us. It's something deeper and it stays even when life gets difficult so what is the secret to this joy do you want to know well here it is it's found in verse 12 let me read it again i know what it is to have a little and i know what it is to have plenty in any and all circumstances i have learned the secret of being well fed and going hungry, of having plenty and of being fed. There is the secret to joy. Paul is saying, I've seen good times, I've seen bad times, and there are lessons to be learned in each. So joy doesn't come from the circumstances. See, there are unhappy people everywhere. And they have everything they need and a little more in most cases. But they are not joyful. Listen again to verse 13. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. That's the verse we like to quote. But you notice that Paul's contentment in all circumstances and situation is 
found in something in verse 13. Now, when we read verse 13, most of us focus right in on the word strength. But the word strength is not the clue here. It's not, it's not the key to joy. The key to joy is the word do. I can do. Contentment or joy is a byproduct of the relationship that you have with Christ and what you do. I can do, Paul said. In all circumstances, Paul chose to focus on what he could do. That is the secret to contentment. And contentment, of course, is linked to joy. Let go of what you think you should have and focus on what you can do. We get this all twisted around in our thinking. We think that if I just get what I want, then I will be content and I will be free to do the things that need to be done. Here's a, here's the truth. We will never have everything we want and life will never always be as we want it. You know, I have a lot of stuff in this house. 43 years of marriage will do that. But I can guarantee you before this year is over, I will buy more. And I will buy one more bin to put my stuff in and put it out in the garage. I got over Martha Stewart moments a long time ago. And if you were like me, you know what I mean. Life is going to be perfect. I'm going to have to have the Norman Rockwell holiday. Very rarely does it really happen. And if our joy is connected to our circumstances, then we will live a pretty joyless life. What we can do is we can have all the strength we need to do what Christ calls us to do, no matter what our circumstances are. You want to experience joy and contentment? And focus on what you can do right where you are at. Christ will give you the strength to do it. I pray that your ministry is blessed. Amen.